Good morning, everyone. Here is the flower-shaped rolled flower. I couldn't find the one that she had, you know, that was just regular. It's probably in the rose family. I couldn't find that. This is the one I like because I like the little notch out of it. And I already did this real quick this morning so we can get this going. But here's the petal when it's darted and done. So you have your piece that you need to roll. And then they give you extra petals that you attach once you roll this. And it looks something like this. But I am new, so I'm not saying this is the best or this is the right cardstock. This is obviously not solid core, so you're gonna get a white back. If you're using a shadow box, you're gonna want the solid core, which is color you know, everywhere and along the edge. Some people don't like the white showing, but I like this pattern because I'm making a wreath. You go, of course, you're gonna have your, your glue gun, uh, a quilling tool I use, or you can use a bobby pin. And I'm gonna show you here, I have two extra petals that you can see they have slits. This is for darting, uh, there we go. So you're gonna dart this, which it makes a cup effect. So you're gonna put glue on it and cup it over like that. So it makes a cup, it's kinda of hard. That's my first time filming, so <laughs> it's gonna look a little funny. So put a little bit of glue on and then dart. I have a little extra glue, but it's hot, so I don't really care. I don't want to touch it. You can always just wipe off, you know, whatever glue with whatever tool you have handy. Okay, do it again with this one. A little bit of glue close to the slit. And fold over and dart. It's called darting. And it makes a cup. Alrighty, once this cools, you're not done yet. You want to roll the edges. So my pattern, you're gonna roll it away from you. So my pattern's gonna be face down and you're gonna roll it. It kind of ruins the cup a little bit, but not a big deal. Roll it. Um, you can roll it as much or as little as you want, depending on the look you want. Some people roll this way and then that one and it gives a more of a, I think a, like a more open effect, uh, like an older flower that's been bloomed longer. But I'm just gonna fold it down like that. And then now I have all my petals. And so you're going to, you want to start with the edge, if you don't know, for people who are watching who don't know. And you're, I'm, if it's a pattern, you're going to roll it towards you. Okay, and you're always going to, to me, I always get like kind of at the beginning is going to be a little bent and square. So I kind of keep squeezing as I go. See, I kind of like squeeze out to the edge. And then I'm just going to roll and squeeze. And you're going to keep the base even so roll as best you can to keep it flat sorry I keep doing the wrong spot and I'm squeezing a little bit because you don't want the flower and I'm not sure the weight of this I'm sorry I've used various um, I don't like it too thick it's harder to of course you don't have to keep going with the quilling tool you could just use your fingers now and I'll show you the size in the comments what I used so like that and this is the part you're gonna glue for your base but I go like this Kind of like that. Like I said, and I'm doing this quickly, so I'm not going to make it real pretty. Glue it, go down like that. I was gonna have this done for you, but I figure some people may not know how to do this part. So glue this down. Before you do your petals, you're still going to, you're gonna roll these guys so they look good. If you don't, which is fine, but if you don't roll your flowers, they just look like, they're just like this, which is okay looking, but, um, or okay to me. Some people like it, it's fine. So roll as much as you can. It's gonna get real tight in the middle and that's totally fine because of course, you know, you, you need a bud look. Like I said, I'm doing this real fast so I, it's not gonna be as pretty as you do your own. And some of them I have a better technique too. And I always get the one closest, he's always like this. So I kind of just adjust him as I go. I don't know why. But see, so rolled like that, you get the start of it. So it's a baby flower. Oh, which is still cute, but now you're going to add on here. So, of course, you're going to add your glue to the dart part, and you're going to glue it. So you're going to want to cover up. You're going to offset it. So you're going to cover up all around there to start with. So let's do a little bit of glue. And I kind of don't go, depending on where you're at, you'll play with it a little bit. If you do it real close to the base, um, you get less height. So I do it a little bit above the base to start with to build out. 
I am going, trying to go fast here. See, there's another one on the edge. See, so you, you want to cover up the two. One, two, and then this guy covers up the back. Same thing. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna slip this guy in here because he looks fine. Same thing with this guy. Just, you're gonna mess with it a little bit. Like I said, I'm very new and I'm still learning how to place them. But worst thing happens, you get yourself a couple roses, real roses, and you see how they bloom. And and then also when you're going, if you want more um, of the out effect you can bend it back some more. And that gets them going out like more of this from the center outlook. Again, so now, of course you always have your little stupid glue things everywhere. Again here, even though we just did a row, see how I'm kind of pulling it out, making it a little bigger. Next one, see how I have a gap there? I'm gonna do that guy. And if you want a bigger flower, like you want to keep going to take up more space, see how that's looking how pretty that's good. And I'm going fast. So it's, if you went slower and took your time, it's going to look even better. But if you want a bigger flower, just reprint or recut just the petals and you could keep going for, you know, obviously as long as you want. This guy's a little open right here, um, probably because I'm going fast. So, but I'm going to push them in there again. I'm, I'm kind of giving it just, you can manipulate it pretty good. They're... It's pretty tough cardstock. I'm just gonna slip that guy in there since there's a gap, whatever. So he's looking a little off-sided, probably because I'm, like I said, going fast. But in, let's see. So, see how I'm looking, trying to find a good spot? I'm just gonna do it right there. And so that was a super quick way, but I wouldn't mind a bigger flower if you want. If you did another row, you know, it's gonna probably cover your hand. But that's, for how quick I did it, that's not too bad. And then you could sit there and you can manipulate. Sometimes these guys kind of curl back in if you want to get in here with your fingers and bend him back a little bit. And then I got the quilling tool from Hobby Lobby, $4. Um, and I already showed you the paper I bought, but I can show you again too, because I like the pattern paper. If you have any questions, let me know.